Cancer, April 2023. Hello, beautiful soul. Cancer. Cancer. Okay, let's jump in. Cancer, please like the video if you don't mind. It really helps the channel. Let's go. What is the energy? What is the vibe? Oh, that was quick. Thank you for Cancer. Okay. Anything else for Cancer? Oh, thank you. Mm. Okay. So, oh, love that. Cancer, um... There's an energy around you right now of hostility, right? This could mean many things. It's going to be different for everyone. But you may have been fighting a lot with someone or someone's holding a grudge here. But whatever it is, I feel like we have the second chakra in reverse. That is the sacral chakra. It's the, um, the energy center of your creativity, your... Um, your life force energy pretty much, right? And so whatever this is, I feel like it's draining you, whether you realize it or not, okay? And this is the overall energy that's come out, so it's quite important. Let's dive deeper in with the tarot. That's what the tarot is here for, to solve all the problems. <laughs> or give us the tools to solve problems and, you know, make sure that we're moving in alignment rather than resistance. So, <clears throat> let's consult Cancer, April 2023. This could be to do with um, a family member or within the home or a marriage doesn't have to be, only take what resonates, right? Let's see, Cancer, what else please? Tell me more, <coughs> excuse me. Tell me more for Cancer. Thank you. Mm, we have the devil in the reverse. I feel like whoever this is, Cancer, that's bringing this drama or these arguments to your life, you want to um, release yourself from it, right? Or you should. Or this person is trying to, um, to break free of their toxic habits, their toxic patterns, but they're having a hard time doing so. But I'm feeling intuitively this is for you, Cancer. You are wanting to remove yourself from these toxic kind of situations. Hmm. Tell me more. Yeah, who is this person, please? Who is this person? Obviously, it could be a Capricorn. What is this? Tell me more. Okay. This person's quite immature. We have the Page of Swords. Could be a Gemini. Um, yeah, that's two swords there. So this is confirmation. It's this person. Someone who could be younger than you or just someone who's immature. Could be a bit of a hypocrite. They, they don't really care about the feelings of others. They're quite selfish. This could be somebody that is very up and down or your relationship is very up and down. One minute they're lovely and nice and the next minute they're hostile. One minute you're getting along and the next minute you're arguing, right? Yeah. We have another page at the bottom of the deck, page of pentacles. Someone who, they don't appreciate what's in front of them. They're very immature and selfish, this person. Okay. So tell me more about the devil in reverse, please. Thank you. Okay, yeah. It's, it's like I said, it's you trying to move away from this, right? Six of Swords, moving into calmer waters. If you don't want to move away from the person, then it's like you want the two of you to move away from this energy. You don't want this toxic energy anymore, right? Obviously. 
So someone's trying to move this relationship into calmer waters. For others of you, you want to move on from this person or from this situation, right? You will, Cancer. I feel like... Thank you. I feel like you will... <laughs> this story is going all over the place. For some of you, it's like I'm hearing the tables have turned. I don't know why I'm hearing that. You will know if that's for you. But yeah, ultimately, this situation isn't right, Cancer, and you know it. It's not right. It's not fair. There may be lies here. Some of you may feel like you want to move away from this, you want to move on, you want to get out of this situation to calmer waters, but you don't, you're not sure what other, what choice you have right now. For some reason, someone may be feeling like they don't really have a choice but to be where they are. Or, you know, you don't know where you would go or what else you would do. Mm. Not wanting to, wanting to move on, but then not wanting to, kind of knowing that you need to, but resisting that because of fears. Yeah, so fearing the unknown, scared that there aren't other options out there for you, which of course is not true. Yeah, I see you really want to end this conflict. Someone wants this conflict to just come to an end because it's just causing nothing but pain and heartbreak, misery, lack of fulfillment, yeah, feeling like this is just, just a fail, right, just a flop, but again, being indecisive about what to do, fearing the unknown, fearing the change, there you are, Cancer, the chariot, it's like, it's like pressing the um, gas pedal and the brake pedal at the same time, like you want to move on, but then Eh, I can't and then I want to move on but then I can't and it's just something has to give something will give we have the tower here wow please let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you cancer tell me more we'll get to your advice and all of that don't worry I just want to find out more cancer Tell me more, please. Cancer, thank you, thank you. I saw this earlier. For some of you, you might be dealing with someone who has some kind of drinking or um, substance abuse problem, okay? This could be why they're so up and down and why they're hostile. But if not, they're just, again, someone who is selfish. They just only care about themselves. They only look out for themselves. Could be someone who's very money obsessed, stubborn. It's not a nice energy that this person has, right? I see what you're dealing with, Cancer. I do. Judgment is here, okay? The question is, Cancer, what are you going to do about it? Because only you have control over your decisions and your life, right? It's time to make a decision. It's time to call upon your judgment. It's time to call upon your higher self. It's time to make a judgment call here, right, I feel like, you know, Cancer, you're such a um, forgiving and empathetic soul, I feel like some of you, you've forgiven this person over and over and over again, we're talking like 10 chances deep here, <laughs> and it's like, it's time to make a decision that's in your best interests, Cancer, is what I'm getting, this is a very specific storyline. It's not gonna resonate for everyone, right? Only take it if it fits. Yeah. Thanks for the confirmation. For some of you, this is definitely a romantic partner or you know, someone that you have a lot of love for and you're really struggling. Someone's really struggling to make a decision about this, right? Because there is a lot of attraction and a lot of love here. Understandably, it's not an easy decision to make at all. It's really not, right? But 
it's like the truth is starting to be, you know, once you see it, you can't unsee it, is what I'm hearing. Some of you, some lies may have been exposed. You may have found out the truth about something regarding this relationship, regarding this person, and this is where we're at. This is where we are at. This person has some issues, no doubt about it. It's going to be different for everyone. I don't know how deep those issues go. I don't know, you know, how bad it is, what they've done. And everyone has free will. But we'll see when we get to your advice. <laughs> yeah, this is, they're showing up. They keep, sh <laughs> King of Swords in reverse. They just keep showing up as selfish, selfish, selfish. Very, very selfish person. And yet, it's like, Either you would feel like a great loss if you had to walk away from this person or this person sort of, you know, every time you call them out, they kind of guilt trip you into, you know, oh, I, I can't live without you. My life is nothing without you. I can't lose you. You know, they, they show their more vulnerable side and then you become weak for them all over again. It's just like this cycle, right? Okay. Let's pull your love oracles. <clears throat> Cancer. 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 What are the love oracle messages for Cancer, please? <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So that could be playing a part. I did see this person is very money obsessed with the King of Pentacles in reverse. So that could be playing a role here. Maybe some of these arguments are regarding money or something like that. And then we have engagement and it came out in the reverse. So this could be somebody that you are married to or are engaged to and you've called it off or or this is just someone that you were very, very, very committed to and things are on the rocks right now. And then look, bottom of the deck, free yourself in the reverse. Again, it's so hard to walk away from this for some reason. We have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay. Let's get your sea oracle messages. Cancer. And then we will get to your advice, okay? Cancer. Cancer. Thank you. Oh my God, so many. Wow, I'm gonna take them all because, yeah. Wow, okay, so we have free. May your soul sing freely. That's what they're wanting you to do, Cancer. Free yourself. I feel like this situation keeps you very trapped, right? And it's, it's time for you to spread your wings and free yourself. You deserve to feel light and free, Cancer. We have play. May you seek out fun and connection. Again, this is the energy you deserve, Cancer. You should feel light and free and, you know, playful and having fun with life, right? A much more lighter energy, yeah. Beauty. May you perceive nature's artistry afresh. This is how you this is how things should be alive. May you delight in vitality. Notice these are all purple, right? The bottom of the cards, all purple. These are all going hand in hand. This is what the universe wants for you, Cancer. And then we have one lone card with the green, and it's persist. May your ripples build the swell. I feel like this is what some of you are doing. You want this kind of energy, right? But you're 
persisting with this with this person it's like you're, you're hanging in there one more chance or this person is persisting with you right they refuse to let you go they always come back with an apology full of regrets full of promises of change But this is what they're wanting for you, Cancer. All of this beautiful energy. This is what it could be. Okay, let's get your advice. Let's go because, <laughs> please, Archangel advice, please, for Cancer. 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 <clears throat> Archangel messages for cancer, please. Most important messages and advice for cancer. Thank you. Wow, that came out aggressively. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Okay. We have the Ten of Ariel. There is so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Hmm. See, this is what I'm saying, Cancer. This is what could be manifesting for you. It goes hand in hand with these sea oracle energies, right? Freedom, success, a happy family life. Things to be grateful for. This is, this is your energy. This is what the archangels are saying for you cancer beautiful so it's like don't let this person feed off of your beautiful energy is what i want to say mm, bottom of the deck the emperor stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation ambitious plans there's a better way perspective at the bottom of the deck pause for reflection and insight there's a better way Cancer, you don't need to let people keep you down. Let's get back to your beautiful energy, right? Back on your path. You don't need to carry anyone. You're such a nurturing sign, but it's like you can't save anyone and you definitely can't save people who don't want to save themselves. I'm just intuitively being called to say that. Whoa, okay. Nice, yes. This is the energy I wanted to see for Cancer. Beautiful, yes, divine guidance. The search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach, and surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Yes, we did see that come out in your love oracles, let your friends help you, wherever it was. The sun, life is wonderful, thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Are you hearing this, Cancer? And then oh, the nine of Raphael, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. Love to see that. I'm so glad that turned this reading around. Your energy, Cancer, is beautiful, right? You are doing great in life. You are on track. You have got things to celebrate coming up, success coming your way. Look, bottom of the deck. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time or support, a change in job or a promotion. This is all the good stuff coming to you, baby. Yes, love that. So I want to say be careful with this person. That's why this, because your energy is amazing, right? If we'd, if we'd stuck to your energy, beautiful reading. But this person's energy came out. So this is significant. And I feel like... That's why, because you have such a great energy right now, so many beautiful things coming to your life, and this person kind of sucks you dry. And that's why this has come out as an important overall message. Don't let them suck you dry, is what I wanna say. Yeah. So exciting times for you though, Cancer. Damn, some really nice energy coming up for you. Let's get your immunology advice. Cancer. 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 
most important advice for cancer please thank you beautiful beautiful we love woo, thank you we love to hear it yes the end of a tough cycle approaches your hard work is paying off beautiful both of those cards are moon in capricorn so capricorn could mean something for you <coughs> excuse me yeah libra the end of a tough cycle approaches your hard work is paying off blessings are coming towards you baby baby all this beautiful energy for you libra so really exciting month i want to say focus on that focus on yourself make yourself a priority and just you know be really careful when it comes to this person is all I'm going to say, okay? Don't let them drain you of your beautiful energy. Okay, Cancer? If this helps, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't, so I have more beautiful energy to work with. And until the next reading, I wish you a beautiful month ahead. Take care. Bye.